Hello friends, welcome to my channel Physics Boy. Today I will discuss about general aptitude for upcoming GATE examination. You will get a series of videos on general aptitude section for upcoming GATE examination on my YouTube channel. Each of these videos contains questions according to the syllabus for general aptitude. You know general aptitude section is common to all paper. You can score 12 to 15 marks easily from this part in the gate examination. My goal is to help you to prepare for general aptitude section and score 12 to 15 marks from this section. Now let's go for 2 marks questions. For correct answer you will get 2 marks and for wrong answer you will get minus 0.66 marks. Friends be careful for negative marks. Question number 1 is Let S1 be the plane figure consisting of points x, y given by the inequalities modulus of x minus 1 less than equal 2 and modulus of y plus 2 less than equal 3. Let S2 be the plane figure given by the inequalities x minus 1 greater equal minus 2, y greater equal 1 and x less than equal 3. Let S be the union of S1 and S2, then what is the area of S? At first we have to draw the boundaries of the region S1 and S2 from the given inequalities. I request you to pause the video and try to solve the questions and then play and watch the solutions. At first we have to draw the boundaries of the region S1 and S2 from the given inequalities in the question. So let us first draw the boundaries of region S1. The given inequalities are modulus of x minus 1 less than equal 2. Now, if you simplify these inequalities then you will get the range of x is minus 1 to 3. The second inequality for region 1 is modulus of y plus 2 less than equal 3. Again if you simplify these inequalities then you will get minus 5 less equal y less than equal 1. So range of y is minus 5 to 1. If you try to plot these inequalities on the xy plane then from this graph you see that x is running from minus 1 to 3 and the range of y is minus 5 to 1 and range of x is minus 1 to 3 so the region s will be look like this s1 region is look like a rectangle of length 6 unit and width 4 unit so the area is 4 cross 6 so 24 unit now we can draw the region 2 from the given inequalities y greater than equal 1 so y can take any value from 1 2 3 4 etc and x less than equal 3 so x can take any value 3 2 1 0 and all other negative numbers and the third inequality is x minus y greater than equal minus 2 so we can write these inequalities as y less than equal x plus 2 so we can write value of y is equal to x plus 2 or value of y is always less than x plus 2 so if you put any value of x given in the inequalities then you will get corresponding value of y so if you put x is equal to 3 then x plus 2 that is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so like this if you put x is equal to 2 then you will get y is equal to 4 if you put x is equal to 1 y will be 3 x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 x is equal to minus 1 then you will get y is equal to 1 and in the given inequalities y 
should not be less than equal 1 so we cannot go further so from the third inequalities we get the range of x is minus 1 to 3 and range of y is 1 to 5 so if we take the equation from the inequality y less than equal x plus 2 x plus 2 which is a straight line equation and if we draw the straight line equation y is equal to x plus 2 then it will be look like this this graph we see that we get a right angle triangle above the rectangle s1 now from this graph we can find the s which is equal to s1 union s2 that is the area of s1 plus area of s2 excluding the overlapping region now we can find the area of s1 which is equal to the rectangle of length 6 unit and width 4 unit which is equal to 24 and the area of s2 excluding the overlapping region that is the right angle triangle so we get half plus 4 that is the base length and the height is 4 so 24 plus 8 that is equal to 32 so the union of s1 and s2 is equal to 32 question number 1 option c is the correct answer question number 2 is what is the sum of the missing digits in the subtraction problem below let us first consider the missing digits are a b c d and e as shown in this figure now if you put e is equal to 8 and then you will get a b c d all is equal to 0 so the sum of the missing digits a plus b plus c plus d plus e which is equal to 8 but if we put e is equal to any other value from 0 to 9 then the corresponding value of a b c d will also change so sum will also change so sum cannot be determined so option d is the correct answer question number three please pause the video and read the paragraph carefully and According to this paragraph, which of the statements below is most accurate? Option C will be the correct answer. Question number 4 is, two very famous sportsmen Mark and Steve happened to be brothers and played for country K. Mark teased James, an opponent from country E. There is no way you are good enough to play for your country James replied maybe not but at least I am the best player in my own family which one of the following can be inferred from this conversation option A is Mark was known to play better than James option B Steve was known to play better than Mark James and Steve were good friends. Option D, James played better than Steve. Here actually James also teased Mark. James indirectly said that Mark's brother that is Steve was better player than Mark. So option B is the correct answer. Question number 5 is the growth of bacteria like lactobacillus in milk leads to curd formation. A minimum bacterial population density of 0.8 in suitable units is needed to form curd. In the graph below, the population density of lactobacillus in 1 liter of milk is plotted as a function of time at two different temperatures 25 degree centigrade and 37 degree centigrade 
along x-axis time in unit of minute is plotted and along y-axis population density is plotted and the red graph is for 25 degree centigrade and the black graph corresponds to 37 degree centigrade. Consider the following statements based on the data shown above. Treatment is the growth in bacterial population stops earlier at 37 degree centigrade as compared to 25 degree centigrade. Statement 2 The time taken for curve formation at 25 degree centigrade is twice the time taken at 37 degree centigrade. Which one of the following option is correct? Option A only statement 1, option B only statement 2, option C both statement 1 and 2, option D neither statement 1 nor statement 2. Let us first look at the black graph and we can draw a few conclusions from this graph. The growth in bacterial population stops when population density reaches 1. So for black graph, growth stops when time is 180 minute. That is when the black graph is parallel to the x axis means the time axis here and a minimum bacterial population density of 0.8 is needed to form curve is given in the question. So for black graph you can see that 90 minute time taken to reach bacterial population density 0.8 that is to form the curve. Now look at the red graph and you can draw the following conclusion from the graph. The growth stops when time is 200 minute and 130 minute time taken to form the curve. Finally, the growth in bacterial population stops earlier at 37 degree centigrade and as compared to 25 degree centigrade. So the statement 1 is correct. It's this much for today. Next day, I will discuss with you a new practice set for your gate examination. So please stay tuned with me and subscribe my channel to get notification of new videos. If you have any doubt query or any suggestion then please feel free to comment below finally if this video is helpful then please like it and share it with your friends thanks for watching and all the best for your upcoming gate examination